Welcome back to the workshop. We're getting a Burnsdorf, a power hammer up and running. We have started building a base. I finished welding it up this morning and our next step is to ride it on outside. Well, that's what I get for riding without a license. We've had a slight crash. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now that the base has crashed, I'm a bit stuck. What I'd really love to be able to do is have bionic mechanical arms and effectively become a mech. So I could just pick everything up and move the power hammer around myself. And guess who's sponsoring today's episode? That's right. It's Mech Arena. Mech Arena is the first mobile game to truly capture the magic of playing PC and console shooters with your friends. It's a tactical team-based 5v5 shooter, and it offers you pick-up-and-play fun or skill-based competitive play. The experience of playing Mech Arena is truly fantastic. Not only the graphics, not only the sound, but the vibrations and haptic feedback you get as you shoot or as you get shot. Yes! Battle win! You can really get into tactics too and think about cover and concealment as it is that you're trying to take the enemy out. There are amazing daily welcome rewards as well as loads of events happening in-game right now all the way through the month where you can get a bunch of awesome weapons including Mech Arena's Disc Launcher. There's also going to be some Halloween events and Halloween skins to win. It's completely free to play on iOS or Android and you can use the link in my description or the QR code on screen now to download it and if you do that link will get you a Forest Digital skin, 200 A coins and 10,000 credits. And all of that is going to help you get a great head start. Thank you to Mech Arena for sponsoring this. Unfortunately Unfortunately, however, I can't become a mech myself to lift the power hammer base, so we're going to have to book a lift. Ah, it's here! <laughs> Woo! Step one's complete. That was terrifying. This thing is huge! <laughs> it's, it's ludicrous! It's like looking at a teeny weeny little baby and a fully grown man! Hopefully we can get this thing a little shorter by getting it off the two befores onto the ground. We've got the power hammer on the ground. We've got as much of the workshop back to normal as we can. But I've actually got to hurry up and get out of here because I've got to go on a last minute trip to France. Morning, mate. Alec? 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 Where the f is he? Hello? Alec? 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 Huh. What is this? Yo, bruv, soz, I forgot to tell you, I'm in France, lols. Can you do me a favor and make a build a knife box? Don't forget to tell the viewers you can buy one at Ale Steel Eco. Good luck and don't kill yourself, LMAO. See you in a bizzle from a shizzle. Huh, it's a bit odd. I'll give it a go. Right, first off, we need to go grind the sides. Now I need to go back in and grind the bevels. Right! Time for a new belt! Right, it's been a while since I've ground anything, so it's not looking great. I'm gonna see if I can clean it up a little bit. Right, all jokes aside, I don't know exactly how this knife is supposed to look, but I don't think I've done too bad a job grinding it. Now we need to heat the forge up, normalize it, and quench it. I've filmed and watched Alec light this forge about 100 times, and I still don't exactly know how it's done. So I'm filming this just in case something goes wrong. So I open the gas, and then he does something here, I don't know what. Oh my fucking God. Oh my Lord. Good morning, it's the next day. The knife has been tempered last night. I did four hours in total at 200 degrees Celsius. 
Next step is to go back in the grinding room and clean up the bevels so they're nice and shiny. Right, so I've regrown the blade. I think it looks pretty decent. So in these build knife boxes, you're supposed to get everything you need to make the knife in them. So obviously you get the knife blank, you get some pin stock, you get a drill bit for drilling your holes, and you're supposed to get some scales for the handle, but I've just got these little bits of wood. So I actually had to go and buy my own. So we're gonna cut these down and make ourselves a handle. Can I find the activator spray? Where's the bloody activator? Have we ran out of activator? Where's all the bloody activator gone like? Oh, there it is. I've got it. I found it. All right, let's try this again. Those scales didn't work very well for a handle in the end, so we're actually going to use these little bits of wood which came in the box and see how that goes. There we have it, one sheep's foot build a knife box. Bonjour, Jimmy, ça va? Oh, hey, how's it going? Ah, ça va bien, et toi? Good timing. Oh, mais c'est magnifique. Mais bon travail, bon travail. En fait, euh, tu les as parlé de Sen Code Sen, le service phénoménal pour faire couper à laser n'importe quoi, sans minimum, avec des prix fantastiques. You still speak French. Oh, crap, sorry. Did you tell them about Sen Code Sen? No. That's a great service. They should check it out. They help us out with this. Anyway, we need to get back to work. Next up on the power hammer, we're going to need a way to power it. So we've got to mount the motor. We've lifted the motor up to get an idea of what it looks like on this side, but so that moving this machine in the future, i.e. getting forks from this side, is easier. And since there's already some dead space here, I think we're going to see what it looks like if we put the motor on the other side. But I think our gantry crane isn't going to be able to pass over the power hammer, so we've got to lift it up. Are we high enough, Jamie? Yeah, it's pretty high. Could we not have just went around the side of the power hammer there, though? Just what I was thinking. Alrighty, I've come up with a design. We're gonna have some steel tube coming out from underneath the power hammer. So we're gonna cut some pipe and start fabricating. So I fabricated up the frame that's going to support the motor. We're going to weld it in place. We'll just have to lift the motor up again a little bit and get it out of the way. All right, let's lower it down. I have been stupid. Hey guys, really sorry for the short video today, but that's all we got for you. Please, big thank you to Mecarina. Check them out down at the link below. Thank you sincerely for your time and your viewership. Bye-bye.